Hi, Phyllis here from southernfrugal.com. Today for lunch we're going to have some um, biscuits with uh, sausage gravy and some eggs. Now, we normally don't eat eggs for breakfast ever. Uh, we always pretty much have smoothies and once in a while we have oatmeal. So the only time we really get eggs would be either at lunch or even supper time sometimes. So today, that's what we're going to have for lunch. It's a really, really quick meal. All right, now I get my sausage um, and buy a little one pound, uh, you know, little container, a little plastic, and I go ahead and cook it all at one time and then I freeze it. I do the same with the biscuits. I fix a whole big pan and then freeze them. So I've already cut my biscuits in two and these were previously frozen. I just took them out, let them thaw out about an hour ago. So I'll put those in the toaster oven, let them be heating up. And now we're ready to fix the uh, sausage gravy. So I need a spoon and this is bacon grease. Now, we also don't have bacon very often, but when it's really good bacon, I save the bacon grease. So I'm going to put in a good tablespoon of bacon grease, because I'm going to make really a lot more gravy than what we'll be eating today, because it does keep really well for, you know, several days. So I'm going to go ahead and put my burner up on high. Now, to make gravy of any kind, really, you need equal amounts of uh, oil or grease to flour, and that would be just plain uh, all-purpose flour. Now I'm going to go ahead, because this is going to be a milk gravy, I'm going to go ahead and get my milk out. And we're going to probably end up needing about two cups of uh, whole milk. All right. So again, equal amounts of uh, oil or grease to the amounts of flour. Now this was super good bacon. It was Carolina Pride bacon. It was so fresh and so good. And that's, when I find bacon like that, I always save the grease because it'll keep like a very long time in the refrigerator. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and dump my flour in. And the way you'll know if it's enough, you don't wanna have you don't want to be able to see extra grease floating around in there. And we're just going to slightly uh, brown this flour. And I like to go ahead and put my salt in at this point. And I'm going to turn my burner down just a little bit. And of course you can all already smell the bacon. Just when it starts barely cooking a little bit, this is going to be a white gravy. I'm going to do the sausage by crumbling it up. And again, this was browned already. And the sausage freezes very well after it's cooked. It'll keep for a long time in the freezer. And it's so convenient. And as long as you're cooking, you know, like sausage, you might as well go ahead and cook a whole bunch. That way you can save a little money on your electric bill by doing that. Same with the biscuits. All right. I'm going to cook just a few little minutes here. Smells great. All right, now I'm ready to put the milk in. And just just regular whole milk. Just slowly pour that in. And I'm using probably about two cups. You want to just keep stirring it. Now at this point, you would uh, if you use black pepper, which we don't, because I'm very highly allergic to black pepper. So we don't even have any in, in our home. Uh, but it, this gravy really screams for fresh, cracked black pepper. So you'd probably want to put even as much as a tablespoon in it. 
All right, so we're going to let this come up to a slow simmer. And I'm going to go ahead and get my eggs ready, and we'll be back. Okay, my gravy has just barely come to a boil. And there's the thickness of it. Now, you don't want it to do a lot of boiling because you've got whole milk in there. So you don't want that milk to curdle. So as soon as it starts just barely coming up to a boil, you want to take it off the burner. So we're just going to sit this off to the side. It'll get a little thicker as it sits there. I'm going to go ahead now and uh, do my scrambled eggs. I can't wait. I'm very hungry. Now we are not eating very healthy today because back there in the crock pot we're having sour broughton for supper and we're having this for lunch. Now we did have our smoothie at breakfast so at least at least we had that. Alright, so we're just going to go ahead and fry out these eggs and uh, at that time my biscuits should be hot. My um, sawmill gravy is ready and we'll be back. Alrighty, we are ready to eat our lunch. Biscuits are hot. I'm just going to open those up. I sliced them in two before I put them in the little um, oven. We've got some scrambled eggs. thickened all up now. Now I'm going to put the recipe for this down below in the description. All right, so what you do then is you've got your biscuit here and you just spoon that gravy right over top of the biscuit. This is very, very southern and very good, I might add. So we've got enough for another meal and I do freeze this. It doesn't freeze super well. But uh, what you have to do when you take it out of the freezer is kind of remix it and heat it up in the microwave. All right, so we're ready to eat. This is sawmill gravy over biscuit with scrambled eggs. And of course, we've got our iced tea. All right, we will see y'all next time.